So, you know, if, if I see a study and the headline reads uh, that you should be eating beets five times a day, every day, and only beets, um, <laughs> how, I mean, other than that just sounded absurd to say it out loud, but how would I know when I'm looking at a study that this isn't something that was just, I'm not gonna say made up, but that there was a cognitive bias mm -hmm. or there were confounders or was something wrong with the science or the way they're describing the output? Yeah, well, the first thing is always the funding. I mean, the funding and the ideology. So many times you'll find with a study that seems odd and is in conflict with what you would expect. It may go back to a particular strong ideology like veganism or, you know, a university associated with that or, or vegetarian leaning, or there could be a climate aspect to the funding. Or, of course, there could be food industry and pharma can be in there. So it doesn't prove that the study is bad. But if you get any, if your antennae go up at all, look to the authors, look them up uh, online, find out are they a particular extreme diet aficionado uh, and indeed where the funding is coming from. The other thing then are associational studies. If it's if it says appears that or seems that or uh, tracks with or all these kinds of clues, and they don't actually say this is a proven thing, uh, it's often an associational study. So that's the basic correlation versus causation thing. So I give a quick <clears throat> example. We pretty much know, because you can never know anything for 100% in science, but we know that the factory seed oils, the vegetable oils, the heart healthy oils, we know they're not a good idea compared to real food. However, for 40 or 50 years, the population has been screamed at to eat the vegetable oils and don't eat the natural saturated fats. So what's happened is over 50 years, the health focused people who are focused on their health tend to listen to the advice from the scientists and the health officials. Right. So they tend to eat more vegetable oils. But what happens then is you've got a healthy user bias i.e. after 40 years, you can look at the data and you can see some better health outcomes in the populations that eat a little more vegetable oils. And it's not because they're healthy. It's because for 40 years, you've kind of ruined the pitch. You've ruined the experiment because the healthier people who are worried about their health, who have better outcomes, well, they've tended to take more of the oils. Um, so that's just an example of confounding, extreme confounding in an associational or epidemiological study. But there are many more people who eat more saturated fat and it is related. They tend to not care about advice. They are shown again and again to have more smoking, more overweight, more bad habits of various sorts, lack of exercise. So you see these signals. But the author of the study is only looking for one message. In this case, healthy vegetable oils are healthy. We were right all along, honest. <laughs> <laughs>